Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about a subject which is now a mandatory coursework subject for all the PhD scholar. As you can see over here, this letter has been issued by UGC uh, in the year of 2019 and now it is a mandatory coursework and PhD scholar basically they have to complete it in their pre-registration coursework period. So other than PhD scholar, this subject, if somebody, you know, uh, have knowledge about this subject, it will be much more easy for the researcher or the faculty member or, you know, student involved in UG, PG to, you know, see the various component while they do research or while they plan to, you know, execute some kind of um, experimentation or let's say they are about to write a technical paper or they are going to write it thesis or let's say their final final year project report etc so we'll be um, you know dividing the component or the model which are there so that the various component uh, we can able to uh, cover it uh, in my coming videos so what exactly this subject is um, for phd scholar it is of two credit coursework of 30 hour minimum 30 hour and this subject is called as RPE, Research and Publication Ethics. And the code basically the UGC which they have framed is CPRP. And uh, as you can see here, it is basically divided into this 30 hour of uh, lecture plan, which is of 15 hour here, which is of theory and 15 hour for practice. So all this uh, in my future, you know, upcoming videos, you can able to will try to uh, uh, cover the component so basically this first module as you can see it is of philosophy and ethics uh, so i'll be covering it quickly then the scientific conduct where uh, there are many components to research misconduct like falsification fabrication the plagiarism that we talk about and all the component related to it and how you can able to avoid or what are the you know significance of this component or what will happen if somebody falls under this kind of uh, scientific misconduct all this component will try to discuss then the publication ethics where certain guideline uh, we will we'll discuss we'll see about the international guideline which are there uh, and along with that we'll see the UGC guideline as well so that uh, the Indian uh, researcher uh, can follow that one so that they will be having a certain rule and regulation and within that frame of you know rule and regulation they can act or they can uh, do their research so that uh, uh, the, you know we'll discuss uh, wh what will happen or what can happen and what might happen if somebody makes some kind of mistake knowingly or unknowingly other than that uh, the other 15 or other our module or or you can say the 50 percent of the coursework is of where um, basically the practice where this rp04 is of about the open ss public publication or publishing where we'll be able to discuss the different you know i, I will take you to those side and uh, we'll try to explore how you can able to assess all this side to check about the copyright archiving you know policies and other thing more than that how you can able to find uh, a paper or, or let's say paper open ss paper that are available at different platform all of that uh, if you want to select you know you, you are ready with a paper and you want to select a journal so what are the different websites that are available where you can able to put your information like title abstract and just uh, do a search to find out which general fit uh, to that particular you know um, keywords or let's say the content that you have planned so then you can able to select based on the indexing or the impact factor or the response general response and you can go for some so all this kind of thing we will try to cover in this area and moreover the publication misconduct also uh, which uh, um, already you will be covering it with the falsification moreover uh, we will discuss about the authorship you know uh, what is the first author the co-author the corresponding author or the last author the significance of it and 
let's say somebody wants to add someone or want to delete someone at the you know in the he has already he or she has already submitted the article in the middle of that what can happen and how you can do it and all sort of thing then the software that are available uh, that might be available to many of uh, you people like urkund turn it in urkund uh, as you might be knowing so through the project and that most of the you know higher education institution have the ss of urkund where all the scholar as well the faculty member can assess it freely and they have some cap under that that many of document they can able to check per year but still uh, UGC or uh, the InfluentNet have taken a uh, great step uh, so that you know the Indian researcher can have a you know tool which is uh, handily and readily available to them. So all this uh, tool also will try. I will try to give kind of demonstration how that works. I have already prepared videos on Turnitin. If you have not gone through that, you can go to my playlist and you can see. Uh, how you can able to create account in turn it in student account let's say instructor account and the different settings or how to avoid the repository all that sort of thing I have already discussed I have kept it in the i button as well you can uh, have a look then uh, the different databases also will be discussing indexing which is very much important like citation databases or indexing like web of science as you can see as scopus then i will take you to the clarivate and we will see all the thing on the scopus also about scopus i have prepared few videos which uh, you can explore uh, how to create account and other sort of thing like um, search and uh, finding out about your publication downloading and making your profile ready to the outer world all all sort of thing i've already prepared you can visit it then research matrices also about scopus this i'll be covering in due course of time then indexing all the h index g index i10 index ultimate matrices every uh, all this sort of thing uh, will uh, with short video uh, about length of uh, 8 to 10 minute or within 15 minute i will try to make uh, you know uh, the video so that you can able to get the information within a short or within a uh, frame of time so thank you for watching uh, very soon i will be uploading the first video which which will be with uh, rp01 the philosophy and ethics so thank you thank you for watching thank you